In the early 1920s, Anzia Yazerska was a well-known writer. She was called the Sweatshop Cinderella, and everyone seemed to know her story about rising from the New York City tenements to literary success. She immigrated with her parents from Poland and came to New York and lived in the Jewish immigrant ghetto on the Lower East Side of Manhattan. While working as a maid and then in sweatshops, she attended night school and eventually graduated from Columbia University's Teachers College. By the late 1930s, Anzia Yazerska was almost completely forgotten, bereft of a publisher, of readership, and income. It was only in the 1970s that she was rediscovered by feminist critics, who found in her writing a vibrant woman's point of view of the Jewish immigrant experience. Here is a clip with images from the time period in which Yazerska grew up. You will note that it ends with her reflection about her life as a writer during the Great Depression. In the 1920s, Anzia Yazerska's star rose fast and she became a well-paid novelist and screenwriter. Known as the Cinderella of the Tenements, she had enthralled audiences with stories of her immigrant youth in New York's Lower East Side. With the leveling force of an earthquake, the stock crash of 1929 hit us all. Bankers, industrialists, ditch diggers, and authors were tossed together into the same abyss. Yazerska was six years old when a Russian family arrived at Ellis Island. She put herself through school, against her father's wishes, by working in a sweatshop. At night, she would climb to the roof of their New York City tenement and talk out her heart to the stars. When her stories took her to Hollywood, she thought she had left poverty behind she was wrong. I tried to find work and met with frightened withdrawal. Friends retreated. Occasionally I ran into celebrities whom I used to meet. I was naive enough to greet them in warmth at the sight of a familiar face. Only after I saw their embarrassment did I learn to avoid noticing them at all. In 1920, Yuzerska published a collection of short works that it was entitled Hungry Hearts, and Hollywood producer Samuel Goldman based a 1922 silent film of the same name on her collection of stories. Yazerska at that point became a minor celebrity and collected quite a nice paycheck. And in 1923, her short story collection, Children of Loneliness, came out, and it contained stories that are very similar in terms of the themes, setting, and characters to those found in Hungry Hearts. For example, the title story, Children of Loneliness, looks at the gap that often develops between immigrant parents of the old world and their Americanized children. A New York Times critic once noted that, quote, Yuzerska's people did not want to find themselves. They wanted to lose themselves and find America, to shed Europe and to live the American dream, end quote. And yet, in Yazerska's stories, there is an undercurrent of disappointment in realizing the American dream. In the end, this tension between finding success and being alienated from Jewish immigrant culture is not fully resolved.